the caravan pulled a dirty trick that backfired in one unexpected way. Americans could not believe it. The migrant caravan pulled a dirty trick to try and enter America. But it ended up backfiring in this unexpected way. Migrants use women and children as human shields. Recently, hundreds of migrants attempted to invade America by storming the U.S. border. They broke off from a column of migrants and made a break for it. But they knew they were about to run into the U.S. Border Patrol So the migrant hooligans began firing rocks and other heavy projectiles at Border Patrol in an effort to clear a path to the U.S. border. Several agents were actually struck by rocks, San Diego Chief Border Patrol agent Rodney Scott stated. He then described how the thug migrants forced women and children to the front lines to act as human shields. This allowed the migrant attackers to bombard Border Patrol agents with rocks and other heavy projectiles. What we saw over and over yesterday was that the group the caravan, as we call them would push women and children to the front and then begin, basically, rocking our agents, he explained. Their plot failed. Border Patrol agents drove back the invading gang of migrants with tear gas. Of course, the fake news media claimed blasting violent migrants with tear gas was another example of Trump's inhumanity. But the Border Patrol had previously used non-lethal tear gas to beat back mobs of illegal aliens on Obama's watch. In fact, the Washington Times reported that the Border Patrol deployed tear gas against gangs of illegal aliens more than once a month in the final years of the Obama administration. How the Migrants' Plan Backfired Migrants scheming to use innocent women and children as human shields backfired in two ways. First, Donald Trump noted that the images of hundreds of migrants storming the border worked against the Democrats. He argued this proved Congress needs to fund the wall.